Welcome back. Andrea Trowski here with Study Well with Dental L. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about infection control because this is oh so important, okay? And I can't tell you how often I've seen students, even new hygienists, new assistants who don't quite follow it, but I don't think it's their fault. It's because if they're not taught and they're not shown, depending on the office as well, it can make difficult to do proper infection control because if you don't know something, you don't know something. And I speak from experience. I was recently working in an office helping out um, once a week and the assistant called in sick, or I should say the assistant who was helping out in the sterile bay area called in sick. And while I was doing uh, restorative hygiene, I was helping um, put the instruments through as well in the sterile bay area. And when I was doing that, uh, one of the assistants came up to me and kind of said, oh, you're doing that wrong. And I kind of looked at her like, what? What do you mean I'm doing this wrong? You know, I think I know what I'm doing, but please tell me if I'm doing it wrong. And I guess, you know, at the office where I always work in, you know, I've been there for 12 years, they have a, a dirty side on the right side and the clean side is on the left side, okay? So on opposite sides of the room, I guess. But in this office where I was, the clean side was over here and then beside it was the dirty side, but kind of half and half, right? So yes, there was still a designated dirty side and a designated clean side, and that part I got, but apparently they take out the statum, or I should say they remove the statum at the office where I was helping out in. They remove the statum with no gloves on, so clean hands. And in my office, we remove the statum with dirty gloves because it's technically on the dirty side. And if you're putting the statum in, it's with your dirty gloves, right? At least that's how we do it in my office. So it does depend on the office. But that's not how they do it. And it's funny because I was trying to explain to this assistant, I kind of said, but if you're putting the instruments in there with your dirty gloves, you're touching the statum with your dirty gloves. So then you're telling me you don't use gloves to remove the statum. And she says, yes, but we make sure to wipe the handle after we put the dirty instruments in there so now the handle is clean and I kind of said okay that makes sense to me more but you see how the communication wasn't quite there and if I didn't know I didn't know I should have asked but I was also thinking about how things were being run in my office where I always work in so this is where it's it's always a good idea even if you're working somewhere for the first time come a half an hour early and don't and don't forget to ask about their infection control. Have somebody just sort of run it through you once to see how they do things. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about quickly is just how we do it in my office and pretty much what needs to be done as soon as you put your instruments in that sterile bay area, so your dirty instruments. So I'll talk to you about how we do it in my office and, and actually it was pretty much the same how I did it in school too, so you may have something similar. So upon putting your instrument tray into the dirty area of the sterilization area, we put our dirty instruments into what's called a cassette. Some offices don't have this, some offices do. And then we put the instruments in the ultrasonic cleaner to help to loosen up everything. Now again, some offices you put the instruments in the cassette and then the ultrasonic, and then some you, you just put the loose instruments in there, okay? So after the ultrasonic runs for about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the type you have, I take the instruments out, I rinse the instruments, I dry the instruments and then I wrap them, okay? So actually, sorry, we don't wrap them in my office now, but we wrap them in the other office. So I was kind of getting confused. But still, it depends. You either um, wrap the cassette before you put it in the statum or you don't, either or. You put things in the statum, it could take 10 minutes, it could take 20 minutes, depending on the cycle. You wait for it to be completely dry and then you remove the clean instruments from the statum. The key word is there is to make sure everything's dry before you handle any of the packaging. Because let's say you had a mirror and explore that you had to separate or you had to sterilize separately. So you just simply put them in a bag 
on its own, but into the statum, okay? If you handle that bag when the bag is still clean but wet, then there could be a rip in the bag. And then are the instruments sterilized now? Technically, no, because it's been exposed to the air, which is why the best answer as well is to wrap the instruments so that when your patient comes in, you can unwrap the instruments in front of them so that they see and they have a peace of mind that those instruments are clean. So let me run through the steps kind of one more time. So you bring your dirty instrument into the sterilization area. You put your instruments into the ultrasonic solution. You take your instruments out, you rinse them and dry them, and then you put them in the statum. So you could, you, you could either wrap them and then put them in the statum or just simply put them in the statum. It depends on how things are. And then once everything's clean, you take the instruments out of the statum when they are dry, and then you either put them away, put them in the rooms, leave them on the counter, how, however things are. But just remember that if the instruments are wrapped, you don't want to handle them until they are perfectly dry because you could risk tearing the instrument package. And then as soon as that happens, the instruments are exposed to the air and then they're not sterilized technically anymore because it's been exposed. So just a quick lesson on inf infection control for you. You know, I could go a lot more in depth for you with this and I do in the full board exam prep course and in the blueprint solution depending on the option that you want. But I do hope that this helped and stay tuned for the next episode of Study Well with Dental Elk.